by Alexandra Jaffe, Associated Press Wilmington, Dell, Jill Biden is a prankster. It's the first thing most of her friends and former aides say when asked about her character. She once sneaked into a close aide's birthday party dressed as catering staff and surprised him with a drink. She has dressed up as the Grinch to toy with colleagues during Christmas. And she likes to put on a red wig with a bob to pop up unnoticed at events or make her husband, Joe Biden, laugh. That sense of humor has helped Joe Biden navigate decades in public life that have been marked by achievements, defeats and considerable personal loss. As she prepares to speak Tuesday at the Democratic National Convention, those who have worked closely with Jill Biden say her warmth will appeal to Americans confronting tough times of their own. She has a very good sense of, especially in these times, that bringing a little smile, some joy, some levity into moments is important, said Courtney O'Donnell, who served as Jill Biden's communications director during her husband's first term as vice president. Jill Biden married the presumptive Democratic presidential nominee in 1977, more than four years after his first wife and young daughter were killed in a car accident. She helped raise his surviving sons, Bo and Hunter, before giving birth to daughter Ashley in 1981. As Joe Biden commuted from Delaware to Washington while serving as a senator, Jill Biden built a career as a teacher, ultimately earning two master's degrees and then a doctorate in education from the University of Delaware in 2007. Along the way, former co-workers say, Jill Biden, 69, became one of her husband's most valuable political advisors, someone whose opinion was paramount in most of his biggest decisions, both political and personal. She was skeptical of his 1988 presidential campaign, but pushed him to run again in 2008, according to her memoir. After Joe Biden became the presumptive nominee this year, she played a prominent role in auditioning many of the vice presidential candidates, appearing with them at various events. During a recent interview on CBS, Jill Biden acknowledged that she and her husband talked about the different woman candidates. But it's gotta be Joe's decision, she added. But those who know Jill Biden best say she's slightly perplexed at being called one of her husband's most significant advisors, insisting that her relationship with her husband is far deeper and more nuanced than such a label would suggest. He's got plenty of political advisors. That's not what she is, said Kathy Russell, who was Jill Biden's chief of staff during the Obama administration and is now a vice chair on the campaign. She is his spouse, and she loves him and she talks to him about all sorts of things, but she has a unique role, and it's not being a political advisor. That's not her thing.